couch with Coel. Poet, writer, activist, journalist who would rather not be defined by her last name, although her last name is a famous one. Fatima Bhutto, the beautiful writer from Pakistan, is right here on my couch. Fatima Bhutto, I'm very glad to have you on my couch. Thank you very much for coming here. Thank you for having me. Now, while you were researching your book based on the life of your father, surely you must have come across a lot of research that mm -hmm. perhaps toppled the man that you worship, Mir mm -hmm. Murtaza. Mm -hmm. You know, he was your father. You were 14 years old when mm -hmm. he tragically was, was assassinated. Mm -hmm. um, was there something that, that, that startled you, a discovery about yeah. him that you went, oh my God, I didn't, I didn't want to know this and knock him off the pedestal you'd put him on? Yeah, well, you know, for me, I adored my father and I loved him from, from my core. Um, but I, I, I didn't put him on a pedestal, at least in my, as a child I didn't because I had ferocious arguments with him on many things. And as I researched the book, his choices and how his choices impacted my life and my brother's life became very clear. He argued forcefully for nuclear deterrence. You know, I, I don't believe at all that anyone anywhere is safer because of the presence of a nuclear bomb. But, I, you know, what I tried not to do was judge him because I can't. You know, and, and this is the thing is that when I was researching, there are things about every member of this family that were progressive and inspiring. Um, you know, certainly with Benazir, absolutely. She was a very brave, very... A um, radical woman at one time, but they all made very fatal, very egregious mistakes. Now you have openly said that um, the resp moral responsibility of your father's death mm -hmm. lies with your Kala Benazir mm -hmm. Bhutto, because she was the premier at the time. Yeah. Um, so when she was assassinated, did you feel yeah. any form of divine retribution? Would you? No, because I don't. I don't believe in revenge, and I don't believe in retribution, divine or otherwise. For me, what what I always wanted was justice, and there was nothing just about what she happened to my aunt. Um, for her to be killed in the manner she was killed in was violent. Um, it was, uh, not only was it incredibly violent and shocking, but it, it, it disturbed and destabilized a country, and no one has been um, brought to account for it, um, and in fact, she is just another casualty of a political system that eats its own, that any time somebody becomes inconvenient. We don't use discourse or debate, we use force. I mean, Zia al Haq was killed in violent means, and there was no investigation into his death. And Zia al Haq, in my opinion, is one of the truly odious figures of mm -hmm. my country's history. But when you don't investigate his death, you make it very possible to kill someone else and then not to investigate their death. What angers you the most? Because as I sit across you, I find that there are that you're not you are angry about the world. Is that would that be right to say? And and what angers yeah. you the most? I think why not to be angry about the world? Um, I, injustice, uh, injustice angers me the most, and I suppose that's that would probably make me very angry because there's injustice <laughs> in many in many forms. But um, or maybe it's just exposure to it. Maybe it's it's living in the subcontinent where you see it every day. There's an incident when you were here launching um, for your book mm -hmm. tour. Uh, a very concerned Indian lady came up to you and said, <laughs> "Oh, I, I hope you're you know amply protected back home." And that sort of you 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 were sort of you know taken aback by that, like yeah. going you were in, uh, almost you found it incredulous that someone would say something like this. So is Karachi a safe place? Can you well, walk around without bodyguards yeah. and especially being a Bhutto? Well, it's not a safe place. Whether it's Karachi or Rio or um, Lagos, you know, one of these huge monster cities um, that isn't going to be safe by virtue of the fact that it is a mega city and that there are all kinds of forces at work or at play in the city at any given time. But Karachi is a place that has But it's been, not like any other mega city. I well, mean, it kind it? of is. I mean, it's the seventh largest city in the world. You know, I mean, it's very similar to Bombay in shape and form and sound. But you're right. It does have a, a political history that is maybe a bit different. But it can also be one that is diverse and tolerant and, and open. It just depends on the time. Um, there is a tremendous amount of violence at the moment. 